Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to unboxing of Arcos 101 G9 Turbo version tablet. Just gonna show you what's on the box. So we have 8GB internal memory, don't be alarmed. You can extend it with 16 and I think 32GB micro SD card. These things currently are very cheap to purchase so you're gonna have about 40 gigs of storage. These things also come with hard drives, not this particular version, and you can't upgrade this to hard drive, but you can upgrade it to more memory by micro SD. It runs on Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4, I think. Has 3G ready functionality, so you can buy a 3G stick, which is not that expensive, guys. I think about, is it 50 euro in Europe? And add a SIM card and use 3G. It's, it's HD, um, I think it's 1280 by 1024, something like that resolution. Multi touch support, correct um, camera. I'll show you when we open it. And obviously, it has a Wi Fi. It has some more neat features. Um, for instance, it has a GPS, so you can use it for navigation. Imagine navigation that size in your car. Right, so. I'm going to open this wrapping and show you what's inside. And we're back. So when you unpack it, you have also two kind of sellotape stickers on the bottom that you need to cut to open the box and reveal the contents. Now guys, this is budget um, tablet. I actually purchased it for less than 200 euro. So what do you expect? You have a USB cable. Nice. I have a um, UK and Ireland compatible plug and some other countries like um, is it some Asian countries have the same thing sorry guys if I'm wrong um, this is the standard EU pin for most countries in Europe other than Ireland and UK obviously and this is a charger to which you can connect one of these plugs and charge your tablet that way. You can also charge it with a USB cable alone if you choose to do so. That's it. And voila. You have some manuals there. You have thank you for purchasing arrows, warranty legal safety, da da da. Um, user's guide. Now in this case guys, unless you're familiar with Android, do read this because it'll show you some neat features inside. Um, if you can't find everything there, go to Arco's website. You'll see everything on the website. Most of the features I'm going to try to explain to you in the video. But if I skip something, you can easily find it on the manufacturer's website. So just remove it like so. Okay, that's the back of the tablet. You have a king stand. I know, we'll go to the front in a sec. So you can stand it like so and watch it and ta -da, that's the front of the thing. Glossy surface, shiny. And this is your speaker. This is your 3G modem slot. So if you pull it like so, you're going to reveal the USB slot here. And yes, guys, this USB slot can be used for external um, USB storage. And if I'm not mistaken for the keyboard and mouse. Now, I have tried my wireless keyboard on, on similar tablet before and it didn't work. But maybe just a particular brand or something like that. But I did try the USB key and worked no problem at all. Just a quick interruption before I finish looking around. You also have rubbery feet on the bottom. So when you place the device like so, you wouldn't scratch the back of it, which is nice touch. And back to overview. So on the side, you have on off button. That's a 3G thinking. You have micro USB. Now this USB can also be used for the same functionality as this one. So you can connect pretty much anything you want. So mini HDMI is here. 
and here you have the micro SD slot. On the other side you have just the volume buttons up and down, on the bottom nothing, on the top nothing and here you have camera. So let's power it on. I hope it is charged. Well, yes it is. So give me one sec, I'm gonna try to actually stand it. As you see it's quite reflective. It war it looks worse on the camera than in reality. Maybe I'm gonna try to go like so so you guys can see what's happening on the screen. And the screen preparation is about to begin. Yep, okay. Now while this calibration is happening, what you also can do obviously for the mini HDMI, you can connect this device to your TV and then you can connect the keyboard and mouse and have like a mini home theater or whatever you call it. So if you have movies, music and pictures on that, you can just use the mouse and keyboard to browse through these things and obviously you can use Google and things like that as well or whatever other browser you want to use and whatever other search engine you want to use. So first we go with the language selection. So I'm near UK, I'm an island myself. Okay, next, British summer time. We're gonna skip to the main things there. Next, mm, next. What's that? Third party implications, don't want that. Calibrate, accelerometer, you just have to place it on the even surface, activate demo mode, no, thank you, okay. Right, so this is the setup, as you see it's pretty easy, fast to set up, no questions asked there, well five questions asked, but very fast. So we have Arcos 3G Connect, which you need the 3G stick for it, we have Arcos Remote, now for this I think you can Actually, I'm sure you can download the application on your Android phone and control, control the tablet through the phone, at least basic functionality. Now, why would that be handy? Because you can connect this thing to TV and control it from your Android phone, so it would be like a remote. You have a browser, oh, which is just a basic browser. Oh, sorry, 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 guys. Back to applications, I have a calculator. Calendar. Calendar is very nice, guys. Um, not now. There you go. A week, month, gender, and day view. Okay, and you have a calendar there. So, pretty neat. We have camera. Okay, um, I'm going to show you camera like so. There you go. So, responsive enough. And does focus to objects quite close to it, which is handy. No. How do we exit that? Oh, okay. Then we're going to go through all the applications more or less. We have clock. Very simple. You can set your alarm there as well. Then downloads, that's I suppose for your downloaded files, email files, so that's your file browser. See there, you have a USB, I'm just going to pull it a bit closer. You have a USB storage, network, SD card and internal, so quite a few options there. Then we have gallery, which is pretty standard, pictures for instance. Zup, 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 zup. Okay, so fast enough. Um, Gmail, we won't set it up now. Maps. Oh, sorry, I'm not connected to Wi Fi just yet. But all this works, I've tried it before. Uh, GPS, I haven't tried yet because I don't have a mount for the car. You have media server, so you can switch that on media sharing and you'll see it on your network neighborhood in your local area through the wireless router 
that's handy too. That way you can copy all the pictures and everything from the tablet, no need to connect it to PC. You have obviously navigation, you have messenger, movie studio. Movie studio is pretty neat. Um, have a look on the YouTube guys for the functionality, but that's enough to, to make a decent enough clips for YouTube. We have online registration, people that's from Google I think. Photo frame, I haven't used that and I'm not sure how it works. Oh, there we go. Hmm. That's nice. Okay. Right, maybe I should give it a go. It's actually quite neat. And what do we do now? Okay. Right, so yet another application for your pictures and as you see everything is very fast and smooth. No issues there. Um, you have system monitor as well, which is handy to have. All your rolling programs, you have all your whatever there, wake up clocks, uninstall and things like that. Sound recorder. Um, let's see the quality. Test of the sound recording, one, two, three and I'm gonna play back now so you're gonna hear it how it's actually recorded test of the sound recording one two three okay there you go uh, what else do we have user manual um, for this thing I think you need to go online you have video and YouTube widgets 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 you also have widgets which are like this, I'm just gonna scroll through. And that's it. So basic enough, however, nice nonetheless. And let's try some different wallpaper, maybe live wallpaper. And let's go with something like so. So, what do I think about this tablet? Um, I think it's great. I think it's worth the money, especially for this price that I have got it for. So guys, if you can find this tablet for below 200 euro mark or below 200 dollar mark, go for it. It's really nice and um, plenty of nice features. Google is doing all the software for this thing themselves. Um, so there's not much customization from manufacturer, which is very nice to see because otherwise they usually cramp with uh, all the effects and menus and things like that, which is a bit disappointing in some cases. Um, you have quite a few options there. So although I'm not a big fan of tablets myself, I can say that I like this tablet quite a lot. This is 406 firmware, Android 403 at the moment. I think it's updatable. Oh yeah, it is updatable. Um, so where was I? Yeah, it's not just a nice looking tablet uh, to play with. It's actually quite a nice work tool as well. I've been using a similar device for studies. So guys, quick conclusion. I do like this tablet and I do recommend this tablet to you guys to purchase, use and enjoy it. It's very nice. It does everything you need. Um, well, to, to a certain level, obviously. You can't use a full Microsoft Office suite, for instance, or Adobe um, After Effects or something like that. But for basic productivity, for let's say college, if you're going back to college uh, this autumn, it's really a nice device and cheap enough. Lots of extensions there. Um, you can, you also have a stand which comes in the tablet so when you purchase the tablet you don't need to run to the first store and get some sort of case with a stand in it you have a 3g con connectivity for an extra 50 euro or so which is pretty cheap if you look at for instance ipad or asus offerings they are pretty mad in prices when it comes to 3g and same for the expansion slots most of the tablets on the market would not have an expansion for the marketing reasons this does so yeah, I highly recommend this tablet guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.